tonight's video I'm going to be doing some abstract painting for you guys. So you'll see here that I have a canvas that has been prepped with gold spray paint and if you guys want to follow along at home is how I created this piece. So first I simply sprayed with my gold paint and then I used a mixture of acrylic paint and PVA glue and a very handy piece of kit which is my masking tape. You'll notice my canvas has a texture to it and that is because I sprayed over a very old painting that I did which I no longer needed. So, first you're going to want to grab your masking you're going to want to mask out on your canvas your chosen design. You're also going to need a couple of paint brushes and of course your paint and PVA glue which I used to set it over the top with a layer. And this just simply stopped the uh, paint from flaking off. Okay, so it's completely up to you what kind of design you want to mask out. I'm just going for a very random abstract kind of pattern. But you could do something a bit more ornate and specific. So bear in mind, if you're trying this at home, that the areas that you mask off will be the parts that show through later. So if you are going for a specific kind of design, just bear that in mind before you start painting. Chose gold, deep purple or violet, and black for this piece simply because these are the colours of my living room. So, this is where this piece is going to be hung in future. So, you can have a lot of fun experimenting with different colours and textures at home if you want to try this yourself. It's super easy and if you've got a wall space or an area in your home or office that needs a little bit of colour uh, or some artwork on it, you can knock this up in around 10 minutes with a little extra time for drying and you have a piece of art. I said there's no real uh, design to my piece. I'm just placing my tape over different areas at different angles just until I am happy with the overall look. So the next stage is to pop your paint on. So again I'm not being too neat. Uh, all precise about this. I'm just pop. 
popping on my mixture of black and my deep purple and then with my stiff brush I'm going to effectively stipple the paint on to the canvas just like so so for this part you'll need um, a stiff brush uh, a maybe a painter's brush so for like wallpapering or wall painting would be best um, just to give it uh, that particular effect so this does add a lot of texture to the piece okay so almost finished covering it and luckily for me it was a nice sunny day outside so i was able to try this pretty quickly <laughs> i do recommend that uh, if you want crisp clean lines then you are best to leave it to dry overnight before peeling off your masking tape so this is the gold spray that I used on the base and now I'm just going to use short bursts to put a light mist over the top okay so just short sharp bursts over the top I don't want to completely mask it it's just to add a bit more of that gold uh, color back in to the piece so once I've done that I'm going to let it dry and then I'm just going to stipple back over using my textured brush as you can see here in my deep purple so it does look a little bit messy at the moment but I promise it does turn out pretty cool in the end <laughs> okay so just pop that on and then when it's dry you can start to peel off your tape now I do have a few rough edges here and there but actually don't mind that because I was going for a more rustic looking piece and I was very happy with the overall effect I think for this particular uh, design the metallic worked really well it bounces off the light in different areas and I don't think the uh, the pictures do it justice. It was just so shiny and metallic-y and magical looking. <laughs> and this is what it was like uh, in the evening when I hung it up. And you can see it's all dried. And just so you can see there, as I move it around, the different light bouncing off of it it kind of reminds me of uh, maybe runes or sort of uh, mythology like architecture there's something very otherworldly about it so I hope you guys enjoyed that little painting video and as always I will see you guys in my next video bye guys